Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. No beaver cam. My sister's here from California. Don't have time. Gotta go quick. Here's some beaver art, though. Okay, admittedly, I am behind schedule, and I thought I could finish this page out, and actually, it's not going to fit on this page. I am going to do a Lake Murray alphabet, because I see these on the internet and Instagram and stuff like that, where they have, like, a, a, what do they call it, a sampler page, and you have, like, instead of A is for Apple, A is for something else on Lake Murray. So that's what I'm going to do. But after stamping all these letters down and not having enough room for the whole alphabet in this spread without adding a tip in, I realize now it's not going to fit. Number two, it's going to take hours to do the pictures that go with the letters. So I'm getting it ready, but I'm going to get it ready on another piece of paper and then glue it on top of this because this is a mistake now that I'm you know, through with all of it. But I am going to uh, make my cover. And in making my cover, I love Amy. These are Amy's uh, letters as it is. But Amy Tangerine, who I love, and other people, but I've seen a lot of it on Amy's, where she stacks letters, splits the word up, and stacks them. So that's how I did my cover. And it's about right now that I realize I don't have enough room, and I really was convinced because I don't have room above any of the letters now. So I got frustrated, so I set that aside, and now I'm going to do my cover, which I'm going to do on a scrap piece of paper with the same letters and spell out beaver tails, but I'm going to stack the letters. And if I was brave enough, I would have done it directly on the cover, but I'm not brave enough. And I used to have embossing stuff but I don't have it anymore. And I'm seriously, I just bought Daphne's diary where women create an atlas. Like I need another one and something else today at the bookshop at books a million. So I do not need to buy more embossing stuff. So, and I love these letters. Anyhow, these fonts of Amy's. So it is what it is, but I'm going to spell beaver tails. And then my stamp is still dirty. The stamp acrylic block is still dirty, so some of the letters don't stick. I usually stick them down with glue, though it lasts about two or three applications. But guess what? They stick to my fingers. I have a built-in acrylic block on my finger. So <laughs> they're goopy enough that they stick there. So who needs an acrylic block? Now my travel pack will be even skinnier because I can use my finger as my acrylic block. One letter at a time. Anyhow, it was working. Um, I was laughing at myself, though, the whole time. So, beaver tails stacked with teal stamp ink. And then I ran out of, I have one extra space, so I'm going to get out a mermaid marker. And Byron Bay Blue, I think is what it is, which is my absolute favorite color. And make a heart. So, that's it for today's video. I'm going to apply this to the cover. And now my sister and my nephew are here, and we're going to have a fun visit after my parents get mad at the fact that they're here because they don't know they're coming. It's a surprise. So tomorrow most likely will be the last day in Beaver Tales, and I have no idea what I'm going to do next. I have a couple things I want to try, but I don't know. And to tell you the truth, I might just play uh, during the time while my sister's here because my brain will be mush more than likely. Um, so I just might have a couple in-betweeners. So this was a very short series, right? For me, especially. Beaver Tales, I love this. I used a lot of Amy, and I like Amy, and I used a lot of crazy art journal stuff, but that's where I'm at right now. So this was fun. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you can, subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow.